GE Healthcare's Remote Console allows customers to remotely connect to GE imaging devices for guidance and training purposes. The remote user will connect to the imaging devices through a web browser. Once connected, they're able to view the scanner console or even control the mouse and keyboard. This video is a tutorial for remote users to describe how to connect to an imaging device and an overview of their remote console application. To use Remote Console, all you need is your computer, a network connection into your facility, and a web browser. The following is a list of supported web browsers. The web browsers supported by Remote Console are Microsoft Internet Explorer version 10 or later, Mozilla Firefox version 31 or later, and for Apple Macintosh computers, Safari version 6 or later. Note that Google Chrome is not supported since it does not support the Java application used to view the console. Let's connect to a device. With Remote Console, you must have a technologist present at the device to permit the connection. Once the technologist and remote user are connected by phone, the remote user can begin the connection process. On the Remote Console dashboard, click the device you want to connect to. The Connect to Local Device dialog box appears. On the Imaging Device Console, have the technologist click the iLink button. The Insight web page opens. Have the technologist click the TIP Virtual Assist link and then click Accept. The remote user must connect within two minutes or the technologist will have to reinitiate the TIP Virtual Assist session. The technologist provides you with a password for accessing the imaging device. Unless it has been changed, the default password is to get in. Enter the password and then click connect. A window will open showing the imaging device's desktop. Now let's have a look at the console controls available in the viewer. The toolbar in the viewer allows you to perform functions on the viewer itself. These functions do not affect the imaging device. You can refresh the viewer, zoom out, zoom in, and reset the viewer to its normal view. Zoom the viewer to take up the entire browser window. Put the viewer into full screen mode. Switch between guidance mode, where you can interact with the imaging device, and view only mode, where you can simply watch what is happening on the device. Change the quality of the display. High is selected by default. And end the connection. If you put the viewer into full screen mode, the toolbar buttons disappear. Move your cursor to the top center of the screen to redisplay the toolbar. By now you have noticed that some parts of the viewer screen are shown with a green area over them. These parts of the screen are guarded. That means that you cannot interact with them through remote console. Functions of the imaging device that result in radiation exposure or patient movement are guarded, as well as certain other functions, like putting the device in service mode. There is an idle timeout, so if there is no activity by the remote user for 10 minutes, the connection will be dropped to free it up for another user. Thank you for viewing the videos.